वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस कैलकुलेशन फॉर गिवन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क सो इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन देन इन दैट इन फॉर्म ऑफ क्यूबिक रेजिस्टेंस आर कनेक्टेड एंड ईच ऑफ दिस रेजिस्टेंस आर हैविंग वैल्यू आर and we are deal with to calculate equivalent resistance in between terminal a and b and this two terminal are connected across diagonal of that cubic so if you connect two terminals at diagonal of cubic then you can say that that network will be symmetric with respect to the line which is connected in between a and b so if network is symmetric in that case what will happen is like whatever current that is entering over here that will get distributed uniformly as all the resistors are having equal values right and here you cannot solve this circuit by providing series parallel star delta connection if you go in that way in that case it will be a huge calculation so what i'll be requesting you is you should see this question as per if i say here i am providing voltage v in between terminal a and b then it will be flowing current i inside the circuit and what will happen is over here current i that will get out from terminal b right now as i have told you this network is symmetric so what will happen here you see current i is entering so that will get divided equally in each of these three branches so here you will be observing that current i by 3 will be there here you will be observing current i by 3 will be there and with this branch also current will be i by 3 as this network is symmetric and value of resistance are equal now what will happen is this current i by 3 that is coming over here so this i by 3 will again divided into half so here it will be i by 6 and here it will be i by 6 with this two resistors right if you see this i by 3 current which is happening with this resistance r again it will get divided by i by 6 with this and i by 6 with this resistance and this i by 3 current that will come here and it will get divided in this two resistors so here it will be i by 6 and here it will be i by 6 now if you see this node then at this node this i by 6 and this i by 6 is coming so over here it will get added and i by 6 plus i by 6 that will make it 2 i by 3 over here if you see this node then here i by 6 is coming and from here i by 6 is coming so it will get added and it will go in this branch and that current will be i by 6 plus i by 6 means i by 3 and if you see this node then at this node this current i by 6 and this current i by 6 that will get added and that will make it to i by 3 now you see this i by 3 i by 3 and this i by 3 that is getting added and it will be flowing current i over here and that will flow in this loop now as if you want to calculate equivalent resistance then you can take any of the shortest path in this circuit so you see if i take this short path right in that case you can say that v is equals to i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r plus over here it is i by 3 into r so here 
if you take ir common then this calculation is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 6 that will make it to 5 by 6 and this is what technically i into r equivalent that you can say so i can say that i r equivalent that will be 5 by 6 r now you might be having question like is it true for all the cases so my dear students yes it is true for all the cases let me take another loop so you see if i take this path then you see i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r plus i by 3 into r right if i take this path then it is i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r plus i by 3 into r if you take this path then it is i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r plus i by 3 into r so by all the path it is having v is equals to this only that is resulting into r equivalent is equals to 5 by 6 into r even if you take some weird paths like you see now i'm taking this path i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r now you see we are going in opposite direction so minus i by 6 into r plus i by 6 into r plus i by 3 into r then i by 6 into r minus i by 6 into r will get cancelled and that will make it to i by 3 into r plus i by 6 into r plus i by 3 into r that is this only so by all possible paths that is forming equivalent resistance that is 5 by 6 into r so whenever you have this type of question at that time you should take care of few things where you just need to see how current is going inside the circuit and then you can provide loop and then you can be able to calculate equivalent resistance i'll show you some more problems in which i'll show you like how we can have equivalent resistance calculation using symmetricity of the network as well as by using star delta conversion and series parallel calculation how we can be able to identify equivalent resistance so all the categories of questions that is there in the playlist of network theory you just go through it once definitely that will be going to help you out to understand how we can solve questions based on equivalent resistance i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this